Where do you think the greatest problems occur between builder and client in your experiences? Well, if I can highlight some examples. Firstly, the foundation of my answer will be the integrity of the parties and the expectation of the parties. I've highlighted the expectation with respect to the quality and standard. Next relates to the integrity of the parties. With respect to the integrity of the parties, of the parties let me give, cite an example. If a builder is unscrupulous, it's not uncommon that they will draft the contract so that it's loaded up at the front end with higher costs um, at the base stage or frame stage. And then once the homeowner has paid 80% of the cost of building, suddenly becomes very difficult to contact and the balance of the work is not finalised or they make demands, the builder will make demands and insist that if the homeowner doesn't pay an extra amount, they will not complete the works because the builder alleges there are all these variations not paid for. And so that's the unscrupulous builder. Being prime costs and provisional sums, which I'm aware of as being, for example, they might put a uh, a, a cost down or, or an allowance for say $100 for a dishwasher and if you don't read that very carefully you'll know that you can't buy a dishwasher for say under $500 and straight away you've got an extra $400 on your contract and by the time you times that by a whole mm. lot of allowances that were never going to be real in the first place you're often paying maybe an extra couple of grand maybe tens of, that, uh, tens of thousands more for yeah. the original contract. Or all of a sudden um, the homeowner finds they're being billed for taps that are, are far, the, the cost of which are far in excess that that's been, uh, that their actual cost is. Um, there, are, there are several examples of where variations are included by the builder but never requested by the homeowner and then all of a sudden the builder claims that uh, these were very reasonable and necessary variations um, that were discussed on site and agreed and the homeowner knows nothing about them. By the same token, it's not uncommon for me to represent builders who have been requested by the homeowner to insert additional variations which require additional labour and it's always agreed to finalise everything at the end of the contract or that they would be paid for. The builder fails to document that variation and therefore the homeowner then unscrupulously decides I'm not going to pay for them. So the conduct of the parties and uh, the integrity of the parties is very crucial to any contractual relationship. So it's not uncommon for me to be in a situation representing a builder who's not been paid for variations which were agreed orally um, on site but the homeowner has reneged or is seeking to get away with it. But and similarly, I'll represent homeowners where the builder has put in a whole lot of variations and none of which were requested, none of which can be verified, um, and you know, we're in the lap of uh, the experts to tell us whether or not they're true and correct. 